we got cut out again. Um, this time it wasn't the battery dying. Uh, the camcorder was full. <laughs> and I thought I had lots of space. So, on the video, let's see, where was I? I am like totally lost. I finished this tag here. Really, really pretty. Really pretty. And then um, I was telling you about this one. This is a small, small tag for me. This is probably a size 3 tag or something. It's really small. Anyway, I had stamped this dress onto some cardstock, colored it in. Um, I believe I used lipstick red. I can't remember the number of the Copic. Um, anyway, so then I cut it out. Um, um, the back, actually, the, the background of the tag, I used, a, I believe I used a paint um, pen, a Martha Stewart paint pen for the blue. And I can't remember how I did the yellow. And then I put polka dots, like a little road there, like follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> and then after I did the background, I, I glued down uh, the dress, and then I took the Tim Holtz Flourish. Um, someone had sent me a few of the Tim Holtz Flourishes from um, Chipboard that they um, cut for me, because that is one die that I do not have yet. Yet. <laughs> And so I glued that down on top of the edge of the dress. I thought it looked really nice. And then when I was done doing that, I used some glossy accents on the dress and on the flourish. And I am just, I was just, when my um, camcorder got filled up there, I was just in the middle of, a, I was about to put some fibers that I had just chose. Um, I was about to put those on. Let me just get this other string off of there. And let's see if we can get this through the hole in the tag. This um, 31 day um, goal challenge of Marion Smith is a really good thing because um, a lot of us have projects, a lot of projects that we need to get finished or things that we need to do that we've maybe been procrastinating on. I know I'm not alone. <laughs> um, and finishing some projects is definitely one of the things, one of my goals is to finish, you know, projects that I started and never did anything with. Because tend to do that. I get all gung-ho about something, want to do it, and then um, I get, I don't know if it's because I get bored of it really quick, or or I lose interest. I don't know what it is. But for whatever reason, um, I start so many things and I don't finish enough. And I should, because they look so pretty like that. <laughs> okay, that's like number three. Three down, and I don't know how many to go. <laughs> but we have a few here. Um, let's see. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys something. I got this bag when I was at uh, Walmart. And I didn't show you guys. Um, they had these big bags for five bucks. And in the bag was these stamp sets and there's quite a few things in there. There's a gripping poppy and other flowers there 
vines and there's a background stamp another stamp there um, there is another stamp and I don't know what I did with it I took it out anyways it was um, a clear stamp as well and it said um, student I think on it it had these um, I can't remember what you call these overlays um, autumn leaves what the heck's it called <laughs> transparency um, it had that and it had this uh, winter thing in there and it has a ton of die cuts and uh, stencils um, I don't even know what some of the stuff is but tons of stuff for like five bucks so okay um, what are we finishing next? Let's try to keep on track. Um, I lost my train of thought. That's what happens when I get off on a tangent like that. I want to know if anybody else has trouble, um, using punches on tags on the manila tags because I have tried we'll show you Oops, if I can find it This um, border uh, stamp, Martha Stewart stamp that I got, the nice pretty lace. Um, and I have tried to punch on the tag and it does not work. It works fine on paper. I'll show you. No problem. Very pretty. And I would love to do that on the end of my tags, but it, it won't work. Um, I don't, I'm looking for a rough piece because I don't want to go on to one of those tags I have there because it just makes a mess. Here's, um, this is manila tag also. I had punched a uh, Baroque shape out of one of the jumbo tags and I ruined whatever the project was it didn't turn out but, well, see it won't do it and if I press down any harder it's gonna break my punch but it won't do it it, it like that's all it does to it so I just wanted to know if anybody else had trouble with that Like, the punches work great on, you know, paper, just not on the manila tag. Finishing up one here. This is so pretty. So pretty. This is um, a card that I've been doing, and I was procrastinating on on doing the uh, punching on this. So while I've got the punch out.